the sun shines down and the water sparkles. But zooming past on your jet boat or catching a wave on your wakeboard, you may miss the creatures of the deep. What lurks beneath the water? What is that just there below the water's comforting sheen? Something catches your eye pulsating, shifting in the gentle current of this protected spot of river. These creatures thrive this time of year in warm, slow, or still-moving water around 60 degrees. Numerous blobs hold on tight to any surface they settle on. Logs, tires, docks, and even barges will be covered in them in the right condition. These are the magnificent Bryozoan a freshwater colonial invertebrate that has lived on Earth for 500 million years. Each individual mass houses hundreds of white speckled groups of living individual called zoeds. The zoeds are tightly packed on the outer surface while the majority of the bryozoan colony is composed of water and a gelatinous material. Each mass can grow as large as a football, with thousands of individual polyps reaching out hungry arms into the water. The bryozoans' feathery tentacles capture fine, drifting, organic material, which sustains their growth for three long months of late summer and early fall. Fear, revulsion, and disgust are just a few reactions from touching these underwater creatures. Squishy outer coating with a firm gelatinous inner. They tear apart in your hand like an old jellyfish beached on the sand. Sometimes the blobs become so numerous they clog water intakes and screens at water treatment plants requiring 24 hour attention. As water temperatures start to plummet and the water level drops, the colony's days of festive growth are numbered. Sagging and lacking a warm, watery world to filter feed in, the zoeds die. The Statoblasts arrive. Statoblasts are a collection of cells inside a protective shell, and they carry on the lineage of the parent colony. Each survival pod can start a new colony wherever conditions are right. The anchor spike statoplasts are highly adapted for survival. Until the 1960s, this species of bryozoan was restricted to areas east of the Mississippi River, but now they appear to be well established across North America. Magnificent bryozoan are present and possibly cryptogenic in Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. Sea pods are also most likely dispersing on waterfowl and recreational boats that can travel great overland distances, arriving in new waterways to generate blooms the next summer. In the past decade, the magnificent bryozoan has also moved far north into Canada where it appears to flourish. This suggests an effect of climate change, but it could also reflect growing tolerance for cold temperatures. It now also occurs in Asia and Europe, and the magnificent bryozoans range continues to grow. Are these bryozoans truly non-native west of the Mississippi River? Is the reported increase in magnificent bryozoan occurrence just due to the fact that no one really made a point to look for them before? They look surprisingly close to an amphibian egg mass, so perhaps onlookers discount them for that. Some experts believe they are cryptogenic, meaning they cannot be proven to be native or introduced. What is clear is that more can be learned about this amazing creature, the magnificent Bryozoan.